the futures this morning are indicated sharply higher. Right now, the Dow futures indicated up by almost 1,000 points. Let's get the latest on the coronavirus outbreak. For that, we get over to Meg Terrell. She's got more on that front. Meg, good morning. Good morning, Becky. Well, as case counts have topped 114,000 and deaths more than 4,000 worldwide, Italy has seen a surge in its numbers. It now has the most cases outside China at more than 9,000 and the most deaths at 463. The country extending its lockdown first imposed on its northern region to all of its 60 million citizens in an attempt to slow the virus's spread. In the U.S., cases now reaching 755 with 26 deaths. New Jersey and Florida becoming the latest states to declare emergencies. In Seattle, one of the nation's hotspots, drive through testing for COVID-19 has begun at the University of Washington Medical Center Northwest. The testing is for staff and faculty who have symptoms and results are available in one to two days. This, as the CDC yesterday, warning of the risk particularly to older Americans and those with underlying conditions, saying it's likely many will be exposed to the virus this year or next. The World Health Organization saying the threat of a pandemic has become very real, but it would be the first pandemic in history that could be controlled.